Hi guys, Bogdan is here, and I have recently found a such question how it is possible to remove specific item from an array using JavaScript, and uh, no frameworks are allowed here. And actually this uh, question was upvoted many many times and uh, there is an accepted answer that uh, has more than 11,000 uh, votes. And uh, actually I am not uh, happy with this answer because as you see here there is a splice method that actually mutates array and it is highly not recommended to mutate any variables because for example if uh, this code uh, is running inside of any function and array is passed to this function as argument, almost all style guides for JavaScript tell us that we should not mutate the parameters inside of the function. That's why now let me show you how we could achieve same result without mutation of original array. Let's get started. Okay, let me first show you how we are able to achieve that using plain JavaScript. Let's create a new project and I'll create a new project on the desktop, CD to desktop. And here let's create folder remove array element. Let's CD to this folder and let me open it up in Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's create here index.js file right in the root of our project. And I'm about to show you several solutions. Here will be solution number one. And in this solution, I'll use filter method. Let's define basically array somewhere here. Const input array. And let's make it equal to array of numbers at the moment. Something like that. Six, two, three, two, five, and let's say one. Great. Array was defined and here in the first solution let's create a new variable const resulting array and here let's use filter method. Input array dot filter here inside as argument I'll use callback function and I'll use arrow function syntax element here will be single parameter and here inside of this function we will filter out all elements that are equal for example to two. And let me actually define here a new variable. And here will be element we are looking for. Element to replace. And let's assign value 2 to it, for example. And here this filter function will return element if it is not equal to element to replace. Syntax will be like so. Element is not equal to element to replace. Like this. Let me actually hide this left pane like so. And now let's print to the console resulting array. Let's save the file and let's open up embedded terminal, control backtick, let's clear it and let's run this index.js file. Note index.js. Of course you are able to run same code inside of the browser, you may simply copy this entire section, go to your browser, open developer tools and paste this code there. I'll run it using node. Let's press enter. And I see result. And as a result, I get brand new array. Input array was not mutated. And uh, as you see, all elements that are equal to 2 were deleted. And that's how filter actually works. It will delete all occurrences of specific element you are looking for. Let me for clarity actually output here input array in order to demonstrate you that it was not mutated input array like so. Let's save the file, rerun code and here is result. Here is resulting array and here is input array that still has elements 2 and 2 here and here. That's how you are able to remove specific elements from the array using filter method. But again this method will remove all occurrences of specific element inside of the array. That's solution number one and here let me add the comment removes all occurrences of the element. Great. Let me comment out uh, this solution number one and let's move to second solution. Let me hide temporarily terminal. And here in the second solution I want to use slice method instead of splice. Slice method will return brand new array. It will not mutate original array. So let me show you how to achieve same result with slice. But now in this solution we will remove only first occurrence of the element. It means that as a result we should get array without this element. This element should still be in place. Great. Solution number two. And here first we need to find index of specific element. 
we could use either index of method or find index. Let me show you difference here. Of course, you are able to find index of specific element using such syntax const index equal sign input array dot index of. And here as an argument, we should pass specific element. And if I'll pass here element to replace like so, we will be able to find specific index of this element. Let me print to the console index. Let me open up a terminal and run this application once again. And I'll get three. That is a correct index of this element. But if here on this place will be an object and uh, for example, let's replace uh, two with uh, object with single key value pair, let's say a colon two, like so. And if element to replace will be also an object like this, a colon two. And if I'll run same code once again, let me save it and rerun, I'll get minus one. And that means that match was not found. And that's how index of works. We are not able to compare objects because object here and object here are two different uh, references in the memory. That's why index of will not work here. It is better to use in such cases find index method. But uh, find index method requires callback function. And let me replace index of with find index here. Find index. Here will be single parameter. And if I'll compare like so, element is equal to element to replace and save the code. I will get same result actually. Let me run this code, node index.js, and I get same result. And the reason is the same as before. We are not able to compare two objects like so. Of course, there are techniques that allow us to compare different objects, but that is the subject of a different video. And now I could simply use the comparison of specific keys of the objects. And I could compare key A of this object with the key A in this object. Let me do that. Element dot A is equal to element to replace dot A. Let's save this code, go to terminal, rerun application. And now I get correct index because now this condition returns true when we compare property A of this object and property A of this object. Great. That's how we are able to find the index of a specific element. Let me actually get back to numbers to make our life easier here. Let's get back to two here and to two here. And now we could simply compare element with element to replace like so. We don't need to compare keys. Great. Let me hide the terminal and let's now use this index along with slice method. Short summary of slice method. With slice method, you are able to create new array based on input array, but uh, slice requires one or two arguments, and it may return a range of elements starting from specific position, for example, from position with ID 2. And if you will not specify second argument, then you'll get the array with such elements as a result. You could also return, for example, just those three elements from ID 1 to ID 3. But you are not able to return entire array without specific array. That's why you could use slice method two times. And also in order to create new resulting array as we did in solution number one, we could use the structuring of two different arrays. Let me show you how to do that. Const resulting array. And uh, here it will be equal to array. Here I'll destructure array that will be result of input array dot slice. Here I'll slice from ID 0 to index. And the next I'll destructure same input array that we will slice from index plus 1 till the end. In such case, we don't need to specify second argument. That's actually all what we need to do. Let's now look to the console resulting array and see what we will get. Let's save, go to terminal clear it, run application, and I get array 1563251. And that means that this element was removed. And of course, input array was not mutated because here we have created brand new array. And that's how you are able to use slice method and find index method in order to remove just single element from array. Let me add here a comment slice and uh, find the index removes only first 
occurrence. Great, that's solution number two, where we have combined find index and slice methods. And let me show you final solution here, and for that I'll use external library called Lodash. Of course, in this question, if I'll go back to it, uh, there was asked not to use any frameworks. But let me quickly show it to you, because this library, Lodash library, is very popular, and uh, it's good if you will know how to remove elements uh, from array using this library. Let me go here, let me close terminal, and uh, let me comment out uh, this solution number two. And let me actually install first Lodash uh, into this project. Actually, I need to initialize it first using npm. Let me do that quickly. npm init. Press enter for all prompts and the package.json file was created here in our project. And let's now install Lodash, npm install Lodash. And now let's use it in our application. I'll import it here, const underscore equal sign require Lodash. Let's bring it in like so. And here let's add the solution number three. Solution three. And here I'll use Lodash remove method. And let me again define resulting array variable, const resulting array, and it will be equal to underscore dot. We will call remove method of the Lodash. And it requires actually two arguments. First one will be array, it will be input array in our case. And second one will be a callback function. Here will be single parameter element, and we want to remove all elements that are equal to element to replace. Here will be condition el three equal signs to element to replace, like so. It should work now, and now let's print to the console resulting array. Let's save the file, go to terminal, clear it, and run application node index.js. And I actually got the array with elements 2 and 2, and that means that uh, we need to use here not equal condition, like so. Save the file, sorry for that, and rerun application. And now all works fine, and we got resulting array without elements 2. And again, input array was not mutated. Let me print it also to the console here, input uh, array, save the file, rerun application. Oops, it seems that uh, this method actually mutates original input array. In order to avoid it, uh, we could actually use another method of uh, Lodash, and here instead of input array, we could use uh, underscore dot clone, and here pass input array. Let's save code and rerun it again. And now we got the unchanged input array. But again, this solution is not clean, and without clone, this remove method will basically mutate input array. And let me add here a note about that. Without clone, it mutates input array. Okay, guys, let me comment out this solution number three, where we have used remove method of Lodash, and as you have seen, it actually mutates input array. And actually, Wait a minute, in solution number two, it seems that I have forgotten to check whether index is greater than minus one, because if it is equal to minus one, it means that the element to replace was not found in input array. And in such case, resulting array should be actually equal to input array. Let me quickly fix that. And here I could use a ternary operator and I could verify if index is greater than minus one. Then, let me add here a question mark, then resulting array will be assigned to result of this destructuring operation. Otherwise, let's simply destructure input array. And in such case, resulting array will not be technically equal to input array. Instead, we will destructure all elements from input array and create new array and assign this result to resulting array. Now let me also print to the console input array here, input array, and let's verify whether it works same as before. Let's save the code, open up a terminal, and let's run node index.js. And now I get same result as before, and element 2 was removed from original array, and in this array it is absent. And now let me modify this element, and let's make it equal to, for example, 10, 
10 is absent in this array. Let's uh, save this file and now we should get the original array unchanged without any removed elements. And yes, it is the case. We got uh, two equal arrays. Actually, they are under the hood different arrays because here we have applied the structuring and the input array was not mutated. Let me also actually rename this variable element to replace because technically it is element to remove. Let me select this variable name, then select all further occurrences by pressing key combination command D like so. And let's type element to remove. Now it is uh, nice and uh, let me comment out this solution. And that's actually all what I wanted to show you here in this lecture. I have demonstrated you three different solutions on how to find specific element in array and remove it. And in all those solutions, we don't mutate original input array. This is very important. That's all guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>